All right, I just wanted to show you my hardcore world before I lose it, because this is attempt number four so far, and it's the best one I've had, and probably the best spawn I've had in a long time. I mean, I guess technically I got to roll the dice four times before I got this spawn. This is actually really close to where I spawned right here. So, got a snowy mountainous biome over there I made a second base on. Got the uh, whatever woodlandy foresty biome over here. Got the standard, I don't know if I can see it from here. The standard grassy biome between here and there for regular green trees. So, I got really lucky with this spawn and uh, actually made this base. Uh, I probably spawned right over there somewhere. Maybe over there. It was really close by. I just got really lucky with this. So on my first night here, after I got my tools made, I needed somewhere to stay. Actually, just I had climbed up here and just dug in real quick so I could so I could make somewhere to stay for the night. I didn't have a bed or anything. So <laughs> the sun went down and I decided to start mining that direction. We'll get to that in a second. So I wanted to show you my inventory. Just show you what I got so far. Found diamond yesterday. I uh, found a little bit of emerald. I was excited because I thought there was another diamond at first. I realized it was not. Plenty of redstone. Uh, I actually have an abandoned mine shaft right under my base I found. So you got rails here. Uh, I made these ones, but all the ones right there going all the way down in this first set of tracks uh, is just tracks that I mined out of that abandoned mine shaft that I found that I thought was really cool. Made myself a bow. Got some cobwebs. I got a lot of stuff going on here. I got a full set of iron armor. I got iron pickaxe and sword. Just a lot of stuff going on here. We'll get to that in a minute. So I keep a mine cart here. So when I want to go down into one close this first, because it is hardcore. So when I want to go downstairs, all I'll do is hop in here, roll down. Here we are, I'm at the mine. I originally was kind of strip mining that way, but there's really nothing interesting on this level here. But right here is the abandoned mine that I found. And I have explored a lot of it, actually, at this point. Ow. First level, not a whole lot to it. Yeah, that stops right over there. That stops right there. <laughs> I've actually harvested a lot of the, the, uh, the fencing that they use for decoration in these mines. I've harvested that. I'll show you in a minute. It's uh, Right now it's lining the side of my road that I take to my other base. Yeah, there's more cave over there I just don't even want to get into. Anyways, it keeps going and going. I don't want to totally get into it right now. There's lots to explore in here. There goes that. Oh, oh, I just came the wrong direction. That's what happened to me here. I'm trying to remember how to get back to my base from here. It's really easy to get lost in here, just because it all looks very samey after I've chopped it all up, taking the fences out of it and stuff. Oh, wow, I'm a little lost. Oh my god, that's where I just came from. Am I actually lost? I'm stuck in here. I'm stuck in here. <laughs> oh no. There we go, that's the way out. I recognize that. That's another reason I don't want to spend a whole lot of time down here is uh, there are lots of resources I can mine, which is pretty cool. But uh, it's very easy to get lost. Just don't really enjoy it all that much. No. So anyway, back here now. Oh, actually, I actually want to take that with me. I had a strip mine down there, nothing interesting to see there. But here, I decided to go down to, uh, you know, level 12 to look for some diamonds. Found, well, I think, four so far. So, I have these endless strip mines. Well, not even strip mines, just a straight line in both directions. Because I know uh, I can hear caves on this level. So I don't really want to push it with strip mines necessarily, but I probably will do that next. I want to put railing out this way, but... These, so I did. I did make those because I had just enough gold to make a stack of those or a set of those. Showing my little uh, 
the end of it really. I need to I guess tunnel these out to the sides. I just haven't bothered to do it. Uh, there are some spots I've actually filled in to where I know there's like lava or water off to the side that's just not even good to mine around. This way. Yeah and that direction is pretty much exactly the same as that one except I don't have a track for it yet so it's not even worth going to. That right there just goes all the way down to bedrock. Nothing fancy to see there. And unfortunately, going back up, you just have to bounce. If I had more powered rails, if I had more gold, I'd make more powered rails so I could just do that all the way back up. But unfortunately, I do not at the moment. All right. Now, from base one, I used to have to walk through the uh, mountains and the woods and stuff to get over there. It's just kind of a pain because you got to hop up and down on all this stuff. So I thought I'd make it easier on myself and make a little um, little highway. See more stuff off. I haven't explored that direction yet. I need to, but I have yet to do that. I also need to explore way over there in the distance. You see, these are the the fences from the the mine shaft down there. I wanted to take these. I wanted to make it a little bit safer for me to travel up here and over everything without falling. Oh. Look down there. See those guys, the raiders? They've just, they were way over there originally when I first saw them. Now they've made their way over there. I don't know what their logic is. I don't know where their base is, but I assume it's somewhere close. <laughs> they've got crossbows and there's three of them, so I really don't want to, don't want to go after them at the moment. Not really interested in doing that. Definitely don't want to get shot while I'm up here though. Oh, this this pillar. <laughs> There's one right there too. Originally, I put that next to my base so I could I could always find my way back. And uh, now I've made it easier because I've got the highway here. But I made another point of interest over there. I'll show you that in just a second. Need to explore over there too. The giant cave that I can see. And here's where the highway gets more dangerous. Actually, uh, yesterday there was a creeper just standing right in the middle of this. <laughs> I just I just turned around and went back to my base. I uh, wasn't about to mess with that on here, but I came back later and he wasn't there, so I think he fell off and died. Yeah, snowy biome now over here. So you can't see it all that well from up here, but I do have a wheat farm at the bottom down here where this water flows off to. I think there are 27 planted at the moment. All this hopping is exactly why I made a highway from there to here, because there's lots of hopping between bases. Okay, I'll go ahead and sleep. Just been collecting the random resources that spawn nearby. The only other purpose of this <laughs> secondary base. But really, what was happening was uh, since my base is way over there, there aren't any animals that spawn. So I would find that during the day I'd, I'd come out here to hunt animals. I needed to be out like in the grassy, you know, fields and whatnot where the, the animals spawn. And then I'd be all the way over here in that little area when the sun's going down. And it's such a pain to get from there all the way back to my base over there. So that's really why I decided to choose to put a base right here so I could just go to sleep and store whatever it is that I picked up over here. That way I just didn't have to go all the way back to my base every night, because that was annoying. <laughs> uh, but I, I decided to put it at the top of the mountain because I knew there would be, it's kind of a nice lookout spot. There's lots of things I can see from up here. So, it's the logic behind that decision. Now there's that other point of interest over there. I'm kind of afraid to go over there because I saw those raiders going that direction. But I'm gonna take you over there anyway because I think what I found is neat. And I did actually find one of these in my last hardcore attempt. Uh, it's either number three or number two. I'm on number four right now. But I wasn't able to do anything with it at all. It was a very useless attempt. 
I spawned like right next to one. I haven't actually had the chance to really interact properly with one yet. It's just a discovery at this point. What are these things? Uh, in here there was some obsidian. And, oh, I didn't even notice the little trash can right there. <laughs> uh, there was some obsidian and a golden axe of sharpness, I think. There's a golden axe with some kind of enchantment on it. I just, I used it to chop wood or something and then realized it was very bad for that because it degraded and died very quickly. I didn't have another use for it. Uh, somebody's going to be upset that I used it for that because there's probably a better purpose for it. Uh, and there's a golden apple too. So I, I still have that in, I think, my first base is chest over there. Oh, actually when I found this originally, there was the forest was on fire over here, so... Looks like it didn't spread too far. So I guess my next project is going to be... I don't know if there's anything I have to get from the nether or that's super useful to get from the nether. I've got enough diamonds now to make a diamond pickaxe, so I guess I need to go ahead and do that. And then I guess I could come back to that, harvest some of the obsidian, combine it with what I've already got. Probably have enough to make a portal already. But uh, it's my goal on these this this hardcore run I'm doing to actually beat the end, which I've never done, and probably will never be able to do. Definitely not on hardcore. So, kind of gathering up all the supplies I can, making it my goal to do that anyway. That's why this is attempt number four because I did not make it nearly this far with the other attempts. But I know I've got to kill. Uh, I know I've, I need to kill some Endermen and all that. I've been worried that I don't have enough armor or food to take on it. Because I know they do a lot of damage when they hit you. And that's my biggest concern with hunting some Endermen right now is that. My last attempt at the top of my mine shaft stairs, there's an Enderman just standing there blocking the way. And uh, I always tried really hard not to look at him because I didn't want him to mess me up. And I still feel like I'm not really ready to take one on even though I've got a bunch of iron stuff. I'm thinking I might need some more, some diamond things to really be able to do that. As far as the Ender Dragon goes, I know I need some arrows to take out the uh, towers or whatever. So I've been working on, I've got a stack of flint, I need more bones, and I think my other chest and my other base over there has uh, some feathers in it. So I can make arrows, if I remember how to make them correctly. Made me a bow, I think I just found that one. I've got, I've got stuff to make another bow if I need to, but my biggest problem right now is I need more arrows. And <laughs> so I need arrows, and I need more diamond stuff, and uh, that's really what I'm working on right now. <laughs> I have faith I'll do something stupid, like I'll fall off this highway before I get it, you know, fitted with safety rails all the way around, or something. Oh, yeah, I can tell you what'll probably kill me. Going down here. I wish I'd been recording this run. Good. That's why I'm updating now about it. I think <laughs> I need to, to make some safety uh, safety rail adjustment thing here. Because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go down this ladder and I'm going to fall too far forward and crack on that or the next level down and just die. <laughs> I think that's what's going to what's going to kill me this round. So I think what I should probably do next as my next next project is to make this a little safer safer, and or put some water down there at the bottom so I can just you know fill in the floor down there and then put some water on it so I can just catch myself that way but uh yeah see ya